Hello and welcome and uh, this is another episode and this one we will talk about uh, take it, it uh, next step and expand it further more that by using uh, Houdini Vellum to animate this Spider-Man model uh, in a Vellum simulation that will be as you will see in the preview st uh, constrained to a s string and it will be ambulated uh, the string will be ambulated and then it will react to a spinning wheel so let me just go through the file I'll go from the top so this is the scene file a couple of lights on the left side on the left and one at the top somewhere here it is so three light system and a camera this is the material, nothing fancy. Just a straightforward texture. Now this is the JO. This is the GLIT model. Imported. Then I transform it, make it smaller. We just remove this one. Okay. And it will transform, then I properly transform it. Match, si match size and I put it on the uh, origin minimum uh, on Y and as you can see it is high poly to some degree so I reduce it Okay, so reduced here, and then I wanted to add string so it will hold the model and push it up. So I selected a couple of points. I did a couple of tests one time. I select point here, 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 on the head. So at the end, I select uh, these two points from the shoulder, so the uh, hands and leg and face or head will move freely. And just in case there is any animation, I time shift at frame one, so it's not moving. Then I deleted uh, the group. I call it points. Then I deleted everything and kept these two points. I add ID attribute to the point number so as you can see this is point zero this is point one so I add an attribute on the point integer and I call it ID so if you go here ID zero is correspond to the number of the point ID one correspond to the number of the point then I transform it up so down and up after that I merged both of them so if you can see here okay we have four points but if you look closely at the ID because we copy the points as a transform so it take out it continue and transfer out the ID so I have zero zero one one then I added an add node polygon by group attribute by attribute and I use the ID so it will uh, Houdini will look for ID 0 and it will search where is another ID called 0 and it will connect it to it accordingly so we have two lines so it's procedure if I choose more lines it will update that's that like uh, if you look here I have only two points so it's not enough for uh, simulating a string or a hair so I resample it I added more points like 174 then I grouped all the points so in the uh, Vellum simulation it will uh, it will be recognized as a string because I call the group strings on a primitive then what I want I want these top points to be in a group separated so I can freely move them 
and the whole film simulation will follow and I can bend them so they don't uh, fall down also I want the first points here to add a glue constraint to the suit or the body of the model the spider-man so these are the expression which one I put here connect points well, so this one I can cancel so here the last one you can use this expression the other note here the vertex uh, prime index well using zero the first one prime index prime num minus one because we start from zero so it will uh, go one and go back one so as you can see here choose the last points and on the second one vertex prime num we want the zero should be equal to zero This one you can uh, take it from here. I found it. First point of a primitive num. Just press and it will show you here. And I call it connected points. Okay. Now I made some animation by hand. I made the animation so I can have more control. I was experiment with couple of animation. I'll just show it to you. And this is some rotation also. Because my point is, I want uh, the Spider-Man to follow this string and bend and twist and stretch accordingly. Okay. Then, because of the normal, I flipped it down. And my point was not to create only one Spider-Man, I want many, like 10, 12 in a circle. So I created a circle and I copy points too. So this is all points. And they are all moving. I did add another rotation because if you look here, it's only the handmade motion I did so I wanted to add another layer of mo animation only here just rotating so they will collide with each other if they can reach and they stretch enough okay back to the model I went down and I group the whole model and I call it spider I transform it and I use the same circle how you can make it like instance right click action which one I use reference copy reference or you can use control shift alt like this control shift alt and you drag so it will take a make a reference so I use the same so it's reference from here to here so whatever I change here it will copy see it's referencing these channels so here I have this total number of spider-man total of 12 you can go down you can go up as you like then I first stood as a cloth and pressure like a balloon uh, it was nice then I said no let me try with the uh, tetrahedral so one second let it just update if you go to the vellum tab vellum tetra where is it where is it where is it ah vellum tetra the one with, without any icon tetrahedral soft body so it will create for you that tetra I'll let me let me put it so you can see it so 
so we'll create for you the tit conform and tetrahydrate stretch so I took the tit conform and I merge it because I, at the end everything needs to go to the uh, vellum tree so I merge it with the strings see where is the strings here this is where it will join then because vellum will uh, give you an error if you have ID attribute and if you go here we have ID attribute see this will uh, conflict with vellum solver so what I did attribute delete and I remove the ID vellum hydrate and I choose spider not the string and I give it a stiffness of 100 because I don't want it to be very rigid damping ratio so it will not jiggle a lot then this is for the string and I use string also because here is expensive string is I think cheaper it will not cost a lot of uh, processing and the other issue look at the mass I bought I bought very high mass so this uh, what is this one yeah if you look at the spider I make the mass very 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 low because the mass is not for the whole object it's bare points so you will multiply so you need I need it very light uh, body that the string it's, uh, having higher mass can lift up it will not drag it down because if I lift it as uh, as it was before like, uh, like the default unchanged it will not work nicely I have a lot of errors then I have cloth on the top of the or the spider on top of the tetrahydrate just for extra stability with some stiffness also pressure so it's acting also like a balloon and I make it 1.5 for the spider just to remove any uh, self uh, interaction or uh, errors now the glue the glue it's point the connected points these are the one at the bottom from the group they connected to the points on the body that these are the ones so it's corresponding see here maybe I can show it like this see this is the constraint the, this, this is a glue constraint okay and I leave everything to the default it's okay then I weld it the connected point to the points so in the post process it will join them together I didn't add anything here William Solver I went with the iteration of 80 found it enough 100 is the default and sub step I give it one only because I have a lot of geometries after that I um, cache it time shift so I can take uh, a wrist attribute and I use point default and bond deform the first uh, connection is the what to deform so I use the mesh before the tit for uh, tit conform then I use the rest coming straight from the uh, simulation and the lattice is from the simulation also here it is the other hand I went from the I didn't uh, uh, save the uh, strings so straight from the simulation I keep the string I added poly wire give it uh, extent, uh, extensive color so it can show then I merge I merge it with what with the following we go from here so this is the set I used previously to make the spider-man 
uh, created every frame and fall down and interact with this static geometry just experiment with the cloth nothing fancy just a couple of boxes and here this is a tube really this is a tube put it on the origin ah, let me reference a frame from here yeah. transform it put it approximately in the middle of the circle and I give it animation just a rotation uh, along y axis Then I extruded a uh, couple of polygon, so it will rotate like this. So it will interact for extra animation. So I'm going to see how it will interact with the uh, see. This is one of the frames. It's, uh, it's rendering. the previous one it's still ongoing render I will upload it when it's done yeah. See. Uh, if I increase the stop steps it will have more proper simulation so it's rotating then I merge everything together use karma with low settings so it will not take forever to render because my machine won't uh, it's not that fast and uh, that's it so thank you for watching please uh, subscribe and support my channel and uh, leave a comment and like and share thank you very much have a nice day